Hey guys, are you struggling with FM22? Are you a new FM player and just getting overwhelmed with the overall user interface of Football Manager? Well, have no fear because I have five easy tips for you to get started into your new FM22 save. Now before we get into those five easy tips, I just want to make sure to let you guys know that I also make other related FM22 content for tutorials. One of my favorite videos that I've made is how to sell your unwanted FM22 players, which you can click the link here. Tip number one. So, the training function is probably has to be one of the most complicated systems I have come across in my, for my time football manager. Even playing this game for the last seven years, I have had a real struggle understanding the whole concept. So here's some ways that you can bypass the training, um, tr the whole training function in general. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to our staff uh, tab here. We're going to go to um, our responsibilities. So for training. Now, one thing here is that we're gonna delegate our training to the assistant manager. So that this means that they oversee the whole overall training for the team. Again, this is something that I wouldn't recommend for more advanced players, but if this is a very easy way for you to kind of avoid the training section and have you focus on additional areas, and then once you feel comfortable with the training tab, again, delve more into that, then uh, I would definitely take control back of this and getting into that function. Uh, if you want a more in detail analysis of uh, the training function, then please check out either Zealand or any like Dr. Benji's channels because they have great explanations how that whole function works. Second tip. Now, one of the biggest things in the game here is taking control of your scouting assignments. So scouting is very crucial for just for any save in general. Uh, if you don't have the right scouting, you won't be able to find the right players, the next potential wonder kid in any potential areas of the whole world. So under the staff tab, you're gonna click the scouting tab. And as you see here is that the chief scout is the one assigning the scouts. What you wanna do is you wanna take control of this and confirm. So when now you go into the scouting tab, what you're gonna see here is you're gonna see scouting assignments. And now what you can do is you can create a new assignment. Now, why is this important? Because for example, if you wanna select certain prospects for certain countries, then this gives you the ability to search what you're wanting for and kind of gives you more customization instead of having a, um, you know, <laughs> an AI do it for you. So for example, I'm gonna to go to Hot Prospects. I want a new Wonder Kid. Uh, we're gonna go, we're gonna play Giovanni uh, Giovacero. Uh, he is comfortable in Italy and Argentina. We're gonna click there. Anyone has previous knowledge of any countries listed on the side here, uh, this will make it so that it's very easy for them to get adapted to that country. So for this case, Giovanni is very comfortable with Italy and Argentina. So what we're gonna do here is when we're gonna scout, we're gonna scout Pacific Nation, Argentina. So we're gonna click there and we're gonna do the ongoing. So now what this does is that Giovanni is gonna scout any players in Argentina who's a hot prospect or a wonder kid. So this can be a goalkeepers, midfielders, defenders, forwards. Always, the from FIFA to FM, it's always good to have Brazilian wonder kids, Argentinian wonder kids, any South American players. Um, there's also other places like Eastern Europe, uh, there's Africa, um, there's also you know Asia. Um, you'll find the more expensive wonder kids are in, um, you know, in Europe, basically, like Eastern and Western Europe. Um, North America is pretty good as well, but again, those players do cost a little bit as well. Third tip. Now, the third tip is understanding your team's hierarchy. So what does this mean by that? So for example, under the Dynamics tab, you're gonna see different portions here. You're gonna see the Hierarchy tab here. You'll have team leaders. So this can be anywhere from two to three team leaders, and these are the players that you do not wanna piss off, because if you piss off these players, guaranteed your team's morale is gonna go down, and if your team morale goes down, then your team's gonna play worse. So for example, it's always good to make note of who are the team leaders, who are the highly influential players, and who are the other players underneath it. So for example, if, you're, if I'm wanting to get rid of you know, Ivignato, which I don't think I ever would, if I tried to transfer listing him and he was unhappy about it, then I, it wouldn't be any issue at all because, because he doesn't have any influence on the team. So for example, if I want to sell Soriano and I go transfer status and I trans, try and transfer list him, um, for example here, uh, he may not be the best reaction to me transfer listing him, which causes the whole team to be upset about us trying to sell the team leader or the one of the best players. So that's the third tip. Fourth tip. So under the dynamics tab again, there's going to be a section called happiness. Now happiness is a very good tool to use in terms of indicating whether or not a player is unhappy or not. So why this is good is because you can get a good indication before they come up to you and have an issue. You can get a, for example, the most common one that you guys might find in, this, in, in FM22 is playing time. So playing time, those goals players you don't play, um, you know, they get dissatisfied with not being able to play. You'll be able to see this come up here. So for example, if all of them stay satisfied just because we started the save. But for example, if we go through the course of the season, I guarantee you'll probably see some players will say like, you know, content, 
uh, or even dissatisfied or unhappy. So if that kind of shows up here, then what's gonna happen is sooner rather than later, they're gonna come up to you and say, hey, I want more playing time or they wanna be loaned out. So checking this tab regularly will be able to give you a pre give you a, a indication further ahead of what to expect. So if the fifth and final tip. So if you're having struggling even scouting, having, under, having trouble understanding that, one quick and easy way you could do this is by looking up national team players. So what I mean by this, so for example, let's go to find some wonder kids on Italy. So I'm gonna click on Italy here, I'm gonna type in the search bar. So as you can see here, let's pull up a general description of the country and the national team squad they have. So if you go into the national team section, there are gonna be senior squad, U21, U20, and U19. So for example, if any of you guys have your favorite, have a favorite country, have any favorite players that maybe play on these teams, this can give you some free access to some players that are, are on the squad and can get, give you some players that are kind of potential wonder kids. So for example, I'm gonna go to Italy's U21 squad. So for example, one player here that I may not have heard of, but now I do, is a guy called Andrea Papietti. Now, for some of you who haven't heard of him, he's been the FM Wonder Kid for the last two years. So this is something that I can check out here and I get a little bit of a preemptive scout of him, but then I can always get a uh, better scouting report of him, just go to you know scout to fuller knowledge, etc. And for example, this gives me other players I may not be aware of. So like, for example, Roberto Piccoli, Eddie Saldedo, uh, Samuel Ricci, Nicolò Vela, anything like that. So this is one of those one of those tools you can use if you're having trouble scouting. Uh, you can go to any any country, like for example, Spain. Like you can go to Spain, you can check for any of the potential wonder kids coming up and any of their, not, not even the senior squad, even their U21s, U19s. So this kind of gives you an idea about any potential wonder kids coming up and it's a very easy scouting tool to use. So guys, did you like the video? Tell me about any tips that I may have missed or it could be helpful for any FM players to get involved with FM22. Again, just make sure to subscribe for more FM tutorial content because I will definitely be bringing more out in the coming in the coming year. Uh, and again, I always like to make sure that you guys tell me how you guys like these videos, any any videos you guys want to see about any potential tips. Again, please let me leave a like and leave a comment down below. And again, as always, thank you for watching. <laughs>